session today uh, with the participation of our uh, NSF team and the uh, institution managers and faculty managers uh, assigned to uh, operate the National Instrument Database. So I warmly welcome all the participants uh, to this today's session. Uh, I think today's session is very important since we are we have planned to launch the database uh, system on 14th uh, September uh, under the uh, uh, under our Honorable Minister Susil Premajayanta, uh, so that uh, uh, editing and continuing of our works in the instrument database has to be lined properly in order to uh, facilitate the users uh, facilitate the users to uh, browse the data from the system easily and uh, found their requirement uh, without any issue. So, uh, uh, what is this presentation going on? Right, okay. Uh, so, uh, today's session uh, mainly focus on our institution managers and faculty managers. Uh, to understand what are the features in the administrative module which they need to perform to create institution accounts, faculty accounts, and departments accounts, and laboratories, and how to create users for, to assign the lower privilege uh, level, and how uh, users assign roles uh, depend on the their activities and uh, the role we are assigned in the system. So uh, thereby, the institution managers and the faculty managers are highly responsible to maintain their institutional data properly through the uh, uh, privileged administrators in the system to enter data properly. I think this is, uh, since it's a national system, but you are working entirely for your institution. So your data is owned by you and created by you. Your data being the instrument data, institutional data, and the users. So actually it is a very it's a, it's a benefit for the UI institution so that we encourage all of our participants to uh, follow this session carefully. And uh, after the presentation, uh, Ms. Tasni will uh, uh, open the floor for your questions and sometimes with the experience you may have some uh, issues identified. We like to record it you by yourself and ask it at the time we open the floor for the questions and answers. So uh, until that, the mics are muted. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will get a lot of noises from the background. Uh, uh, so uh, we have basically we have three main platform in the system. Uh, one platform for the uh, universities. The, in the university platform, uh, they can create faculties under that departments, uh, under that uh, laboratories. For other institutions like uh, R&D institutions, they have uh, institution and then departments and laboratories. So that is the second layer. And the third layer, you have only institution and laboratories. If you take a National Science Foundation, we don't have laboratories, but we own, we have our own equipment and we have rented out to, or we have sent it to some of researchers working in uh, other universities. So if we take our institution, uh, we have institution and laboratory. So we, uh, we have that three layers. So, uh, the, so in this uh, training session, all these, the cat layers users are represented so that please carefully understand what are the roles you can assign under your institution. Uh, 
um, and I want to emphasize you that uh, this national instrument database was a long term requirement for the Sri Lanka researchers at, and the institutions. And now it is actually very good requirement for the uh, SMEs and the uh, private sector organization to find uh, uh, to instrument they are testing to, to test their uh, laboratory uh, services and get their analytical testing services done uh, because they have to uh, they sometimes they know only few institutions available in Sri Lanka to get their analytical testing done but through this system they will allow uh, to find out particular uh, testing services where they can find it and they are where they can do these services and it will be mapped to the uh, google map which is very easy for them to find the nearest institution and get the, their service done so it will be income generating activity for your institution as well when you feed the information properly with a lot of pictures now we observe most of our uh, uh, data available in the systems are not completed that means the users of the system are not much uh, able to find the correct instrument our services that's why we need our institution managers and the faculty managers to promote their uh, staff to complete the record with the correct pictures some uh, instruments we, we saw that one picture has uploaded but with the same uh, image or better image you can download from the internet and upload to the uh, there are four pictures you can upload for you can have one picture actual picture which is available in the laboratory and some of good quality other uh, the other uh, pictures taken in other angle can upload to the system which will get more attraction to the users because we are going to promote it to the private sector as well the other your customers so uh, from our end we can improve it further to uh, give him more facility for the uh, private sector uh, and the general users to navigate and find correct users and services instruments and services from your institution so that completing this training session we hope that you will be able to uh, give a good uh, um, promotion and give good uh, training to your staff to complete the entering data to the system. So I will uh, now hand over uh, the session, uh, Ms. Tasneem, to demonstrate the uh, system uh, for our participant. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Uh, let's try share my screen. Can you all see the screen now? Yes, we yes, can. Uh, we okay. can see now. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, in the first training session, we were uh, uh, I demonstrated about the data entry part. We covered only data entry part, and uh, today is very important part uh, because uh, everything should start with the with the admin uh, admin part. Um, especially the institute, institute manager has to take an important role uh, to initiate this uh, um, uh, project in their side to update uh, or up, uh, enter the instruments. Um, so today's session is, um, I think, very important for um, all the um, uh, upper level users, especially institute managers, faculty managers, uh, division managers, uh, and department managers and uh, uh, you know uh, administrative in charge and technical in charge they are the representative of uh, each laboratories um, i think today some new uh, participants maybe so just first i briefly uh, let me briefly uh, explain about about our uh, home page um, this is the url of the national instrument database idb.nsf.gov.lk Now, this is the menu bar. 
and you can see two buttons login and register and uh, uh, you can see two main search two main search bars or one for to serve one for searching instruments or testing parameters or keywords um, so by using three three fields you can search any instrument and the other searching bar is to search product category i'll i'll explain what is product category and uh, this is uh, just a, a, a small uh, sliding window to show the some impressive words of this uh, in, instrument database and this is recently added instruments uh, area so when they when you add uh, instruments in your end it will come automatically here um, and after that this is a summary of participated institute um, now you can see in this project uh, there are 35 institute registered and 29 faculties 66 department 98 laboratories 112 products and 312 instruments there are 134 registered users and after that there are some map once you register your institution it will show you a location here now you can see in the in sri lanka from north to south and uh, west to east there are um, there are 35 instu uh, institute registered um now um when you click one on one place marker uh Paunia, uh national institute of forest harvest management um then if, if you wish you can expand and click and see the what are the in, in, institutes registered in the system um coconut research institutes in the uh, central province there are uh, many institute registers uh, so when you zoom it see all the institutes now is the peradeniya china sri lanka research institute and peradeniya horticulture crops research institute so there are a number of universities and research institutes registered in this system now this is the testimonial page um, uh, within one or two days we will uh, we'll get some um, uh, feedbacks from uh, from our expert and we will add that and this premier part and this is the home page okay now in this system um i'll explain uh, login register uh, when you search one instrument uh, uh you know uh, we are uh, sometimes we don't know exact name of the instrument name as well so we can search a parameter or keyword uh testing parameter mean for example example um, uh, pH or temperature or thermal any term um, you can search so you can find uh, instruments and uh, let me search one instrument like um, thermometer I just type thermo. When you search thermo, thermometer, uh, you can see now thermal analysis in uh, infrared thermometer, pH meter, and thermo organ. There are three instrument display uh, in three locations. Um, I think uh, only two locations, Rajarat University and Tree Research Institute. Uh, now, at the same time, when you search one term or one instrument, uh, you can see two different output. One other side, one side is table, other side is Google Map. Um, okay. uh, now, when you click on this place marker, you can see the address of uh, institute and laboratory address. Uh, now, this is Rajarata University of Sri Lanka. Lab name, material technology, lab address, instrument name, what is the product category, and contact person. So other you know, T research institute. When you click on that T research institute in uh, contact information, you can get. Uh, and after that, in the table, you can see now uh, title and the model and the institute. Here also view location and contact information. Now you can see now when you uh, get a number of instrument, for example, more than thousand, you can there may be so many overlap in this map. So uh, it is um, it will be easy for us to display in table. Uh, when you click one title, 
it will show the detailed instrument view of the instrument. And when you click on this view location and contact information, it will show another uh, single map to show the location. When you cl click on here, here Rajarata University, left name, and the contact person. So there are two different types of map here. This is the whole uh, uh, view. This is the single view. And uh, when you click one, here, one instrument name, you can see the detailed view of the instrument. Um, so I, I, I'm not going to take more time to explain the home, uh, the home page because uh, we have to discuss so many things in the dashboard. Um, admin part, and this is the single instrument view of this of this instrument pH meter thermometer. There is the place, and uh, now key research institute. They don't have faculty. They don't. They have only department laboratories. There it is Talavakala Department of Soil and Plant Nutrition Division. And what is the product category? Subcategory keywords. And this is, you can see now the service charge in the data entry part, there's a field service charge. If you add your service charge, it will display in rupees. Otherwise it will, um, rather than showing the zero value, I added a contact us button. So they, they can contact you to um, uh, get more information of, about this instrument, whether they want to come and test your, their product uh, instrument or they want to reserve, uh, reserve it or, uh, it's dependent on their purpose. So you can see now there are five tabs under each instrument. Basic information of the instrument. You can see now manufacturer, model, manufacturer tier, HS code, vendor name, and catalog upload. You can upload the catalog from the, you can download from the um, uh, outsource, uh, outside resources and upload it. And the funding source. And other one is whether the equipment service can be provided to external researchers or institute. This is very important. For example, if you are institute university, so if uh, if other university students can come and do the research, if it is if you put yes, they can uh, contact you and come and do the research or uh, do the experiment. Uh, then availability of technically competent staff to operate the equipment. So yes or no, instrument condition, the function level. Some are not functional. Some are uh, under repair so it, it can be you there there would be um, there will be a drop down you can select then commencement of operation date instrument price stage of the record and after that you can see in the down related instrument it's based on based on the product category you can find some related instrument also this is the instrument detail instrument view of the instrument so i close this so like that you can search any um, any instrument, not only the instrument name, for example, pH, it's a, it's a testing parameter, pH, yeah, instrument, drone, uh, automatic weather station, uh, centrifuge, sigma, etc. You see, now when you search one uh, testing parameter, uh, there are um, 191 related uh, pH related uh, instrument. So these are the uh, in locations, like you can search any keywords also. That's what I, in the, in the first training session, uh, I, uh, I uh, suggested to enter at least five keywords. So here, other searching bar is product category. Product category means what is the purpose of using the instrument? For example, this instrument is used for to test the water quality. So water here, water is a product. And other one is uh, to test this. So what is this? Uh, that is a product. So you can, in the environment, sing, every single object is a product. Now you can see here, there are popular product ca categories, water, soil, pharmacological, food, metal, cosmetic, sewage, mineral, fiber, and case. In another way, I can say, uh, for example, general public. This is really very useful for the general public. Um, because you now to search instruments or now any academics and students they can search and find so this is for example now if uh, if i have for example i have a sample i want to test where i want to uh, test my sample um, for example turmeric if i have turmeric where i want to test it so like uh, you can find the any in, institute to test your product for uh, now here water search the same uh, same output like um, instrument. One side is uh, map, other ones other side is table. Uh, there are forty seven entries. 
uh, here the research um, here coconut research institute a product category element in solution subcategories water you can see sometime in the main major product category you can find the uh, water sometime but uh, uh, subcategory uh, here you can see in all the and uh, records you can see water sewage water lubricants and for uh, here based water so this is uh, coconut research institute if you want to see the contact information of the institute you can click and see the coconut research institute you can see now lab name lab address and um, uh, dr chandi yalgama and uh, her email address and um, um, contact number so it, uh, I, at the same time i can say i i will i i have to say it's better to um, uh, enter your institutional email address um, rather than providing your personal email address it is better to give uh, enter your institution email address so like that you have to search so you can search any product so it's deeper it's depend on you because now you are the institution you have to enter more product categories so now now key research in uh, um, so rather than entering a product category for all the instrument food 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 you have to subcategorize is like like a leaf um, and uh, extract uh, so it's it's based on the um, uh, the purpose of the uh, purpose of the instrument so uh, it's a product category search so here after that um, straightly we will go to okay this is the home page uh, then after that we will go to um, register how to register to this first um, i think it's better all the institute managers not only institute managers all the participants please log into your account using your account some uh, some participants uh, some members may be institute managers some are faculty managers some are divisional managers some are technical in charge by using your, your account please log into your dashboard first and this is login window and provide your email address and password and login here login with google now you can uh, notice that single this is single sign in when you log in with the google now at this uh, uh, now we have we redirected you only to display the instruments uh, list of the instruments so uh, we we are in our development stage you know uh, after um, after completing, after launching the system, when you sign in with Google, you can directly go to your dashboard. So either way, you can log into your uh, dashboard by using your uh, registered username password or single, single sign in. So first time it will ask, Google will verify you and ask the four digits code. And after that, you can continuously, you can use your Google account, you can directly enter your uh, dashboard. So two ways you can log into the system. So this is the register. This is register. So um, uh, I think some already, uh, most of the participants already registered. Uh, if you are new to this, um, uh, please try to register. Now here the title, um, a title, uh, I think not, uh, not necessary to register and show because it will take time um, uh, select the title and gender first name last name address participated institute so if you if when you register you check this here your institute already registered into the system if you register if you see institute already register only then uh, it will come in the list university of peradaniya kalambu rajarata uh, southeast university department of agriculture now uh, now i select rajarata university okay i now i'm registering i am i'm going to uh, register under rajarata university other institute no, it's not necessary because my university is already there and after that there are because i i added it's late later this faculty and department division i'll tell why i uh, added these two uh, two piece um, um, later so now when i select rajarata university the faculty of rajarata now if i am applied sciences so i have to select applied sciences and chemical sciences division 
and uh, after that my designation i can uh, i can select my designation and phone number email password and confirm so like that i have to register okay then i explain login and register first uh, let me log in as a super admin uh, other thing is uh, now uh, it is better to we send two charts it's better to have a university one is for university other one is for institutes or centers please keep that um, please take take that chart and keep it with you uh, keep it with you and uh, the universities and institutes or centers now i am going to log in to log in with my account uh, super admin admin as you might know uh, this um, uh, these both roles are for uh, national science foundation so we are we are not going to give super admin and admin role to other institutions so i am the super admin of this project um, so like that you log into and uh, you are using your account now definitely uh, you might you all have a different different problems so when i explain you can get clear idea especially universities um, so first uh, this is the dashboard and this side is uh, saying about what is, what are the what are the each modules and when i select institute so now as a super admin i can see all the institutes all the institutes detail so if you are institute manager, you can see only your institute detail. That is very first, first thing. Other one is faculties. What, how many faculties registered to this project in the, the system and department, laboratories, users, new registered users, product categories, instruments, and this is for our purpose to monitor the logs and everything, download backup. And this is finally user feedback. So Institute Manager, you can see um, up, to, up to instrument. After that, you cannot see this log information after user feedback. So Institute Managers, now, as uh, Mr. Manager mentioned, now here there are three different environment. One is universities, other one is institutes or centers, other one is in centers or institute or institute without having the uh, without having departments or division directly under one institution. There are laboratory, three different environment, mm -hmm. and there are eight different user roles. You know. Super admin, admin, at institute manager, faculty manager, um, division manager, administrative in charge, technical in charge, equipment. So there are eight user, three different environments. So we could, to satisfy this, all the requirements, we have to develop this. And now I hope we have completed more than 90%. Eight, and uh, now we have a very good use of model satisfied with the, with all the universities and other institutes also. So um, users. First, now other thing is now um, I think uh, some expert uh, maybe in in your side than me, and um, now we now you know three different environment. Now we use two different models. One is for university. One is for research in R and D institutes. So now here. We have to categorize, we have to separate each faculties like a separate institute. One, it means one faculty cannot see other institute information. So we have to implement based on the, um, based on the uh, faculty structure. So because that, that's what, now, if you are university institute manager, first I say, please do not select any faculties or departments. You are only one person. 
to under that organization don't select any faculty or department because if you are select faculty you will see only the faculty users you will definitely you will go to as a faculty so if you want to see all the registered users all the because users they will register not only your academic in, in your institution some research students other some other outsiders they will register under your institution so you, you are institute manager you should not have any faculty or department the first very important uh, 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 thing is for all institute managers so other one is institute managers uh, you can see because now when the users register they all have an institute id you can see all the in, uh, all the users with this uh, institute id but uh, um, some they don't have a faculty or div division id uh, now i can see when they register this is the purpose of that now if they if they do not select faculty or division they they will come with only uh, simply i can say it's like a token uh, token they will bring only the institute token they don't have faculty or division token so in that case in institute manager when you see in your list the users will they, they will register but you cannot find this person from which faculty or which department or even the research institute also uh, you don't know which division so that's what there are two ways they when they register they will come with the institute token and, and as well as faculty token and department token so institute manager he he won't get more problems he has to give only the user role user role otherwise in his list he has to sell he has to give the user role for that person at the same time he has to select that under under his uh, you know institute he has to select faculty or a department also so i'll i'll show that now 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 i'm the super admin if you are institute manager when users register you can now you see here users you can see the users list users list when you click this one registered users list these are the new new users new users you have to give them the role role so now i as a super admin i can see all the new registered users if you are institute manager you you can see only users registered under your institution so if they if they when they register when they register if they give faculty or division it will automatically um, then after giving the user role it will automatically will, will go to faculty particular faculty otherwise you have to do like this now for example if this is the new user institute this for example here sri lanka standard institution this is log to view the log this is edit this is delete you have to click edit and when you click edit you can see the information of the user this this person from sri lanka standard institution he didn't select any department because until you enter faculty or division detail uh, they cannot select in the uh, register uh, like that for example now let me search um, Rajarata. Rajarata, there are 15 users. Then, if you want now, this is a Samba, Dr. Samba Disanaka, division manager. If you want to, the institute manager, if you want to uh, edit his, uh, his registration, if you click edit. And you can see Rajarata University already he gave the faculty agriculture department agriculture system. So some uh, some users some users when they register they won't select faculty or department. In that case you you select uh, institute manager you select faculty and department and give him a role 
here the, you can see the role now um, i am the super admin that's what i can provide my my same level and low level so you give the role and update it so after that he will um, he will uh, his information will be removed from the registered users list he will go to particular division or department this is the user role other than that so you can use uh, registration you can uh, uh, outside users uh, directly uh, they can click register button and register if uh, they, otherwise within the institution also can register one faculty manager can create another faculty manager one department manager can create another department manager so inside the uh, dashboard also you can create user here add user add user so there are two ways it's better way if you ask them to register outside and come to the dashboard and you give the user role while they register ask them to select if, uh, your, your faculty and department that's what it's better it is better by institute manager or division manager you first initial step is you create in your institution after that you add your all faculties under that after that of all the division so it will be easy for the users to select and select your division or department and come directly otherwise now still you if it is university you added or you add only one faculty so it will be difficult to for other users finally institute managers also he has to go and edit his user registration and he has to give the, the faculty which faculty which department and giving the role so that's what initially you the first step is you create your institute universities you create all faculties if it is probably at least maximum 10 faculties maybe 10 or 12 faculties so the r and institute no need to mention uh, think about the faculties directly institute after that you will create your all departments um, other environment is um, in, enter your institute information after that laboratories so first you complete this part if you complete this part early it will be easy for the user registration to handle the user part for including uh, for institute manager or faculty manager it will be easy for that person to manage users so the firm because now that's what i added in the registered um, registration form with this person from which faculty or which uh, division some users for example student or some other special users they don't have any faculties or department just they will select only that institute name and they will register but institute manager he can see their information in the registered users list and other thing is um, uh, institute or university is very important at least you should have at least two roles first one is institute manager other one is technical in charge institute manager is the person to initiate and creating other division laboratories not only for institute manager but you can see in the chart they are being we divided the task uh, different different users so but anyway if it is small uh, small institute or small research institute now um, then institute manager is the important person to initiate and creating the technical in charge or administrative in charge so two important roles should be in one institution first one is institute manager other one is technical in charge technical in charge is the person to enter data so very important so rather than considering these both role you please don't try to enter more roles so first first important institute manager and technical in charge and top and bottom is very important uh, the middle part is depend on your requirements if it is university the faculty manager should be if it is institute research in r and d now then in faculty manager it's not necessary division manager and department managers so in the that is very important for user roles uh, and i noticed that rajanata university rajanata uh, university already started rajanata only uh, the institute manager is not there 
Ah, here. Ah, it's there. Nadika Kumari. She's uh, now uh, Prof. Nadika Kumari. She's the institute manager. And uh, she can, uh, when users register, they can e she can easily find uh, all the uh, users uh, under Rajarata University when they re when user register if they select faculty and department uh, her uh, her duty is only for giving the role giving the role only then uh, faculty manager can see their um, you their name in their users list faculty manager and as well as department manager also so every faculty is will. Um, Service a separate body, and one in faculty cannot see other faculty information. Now it will uh, operate all the. Um, uh, op they they will do all the operation um, separately. So, uh, is there any doubt in the users part? now you can get idea um, now i mean you institute manager i will come to faculty manager later or division manager first institute manager uh, now uh, if you have any problem please tell me if any institution now we have finalized now uh, southeast university only sajarat in Southeast University and Uva Veles also started entering Southeast University Institute Manager, Dr. Sadia, Uva Veles. Please, if you already, if you select faculty or department, please remove that. If you select faculty, you will go to that faculty, but you won't be uh, uh, displayed uh, all the users. You will be displayed only your faculty users. So, uh, institute managers, you don't need to select any faculty or department. Uva Vellesa. Okay, let me check Uva Vellesa. Okay, Uva Vellesa. It, it should be like this. Uva Vellesa University, don't select any faculty, but there are faculties, faculty of applied science, there are faculties, but don't select. This is for in, institute managers. But, Faculty managers, they have to select their institute and faculty because it, it's like a token. They have to have two tokens, institute, to, institute ID, other one is faculty ID. So then only they will go to the particular faculty and they can see they are faculty users also, faculty instruments, everything, everything. So they should have faculty ID. And uh, de department managers, the uh, department managers, they can select the without faculty. They have to select department. For example, T uh, research. research institute there are four use for users institute managers there we check is the division uh, for the research institutes it won't affect uh, even although if you select any department it won't affect okay now he didn't select the department and division manager research institute anyway uh, they have a uh, this is research institute and uh, they have divisions you can see now they don't have faculty if it is institute now research in r d institute and their faculty uh, faculty they they won't get but division should be plant breeding soil and plant plant uh, and uh, it's like this for example biochemistry now under biochemistry division, what are the laboratories? Slide. So, is there any doubt? Now we will go through the uh, chart. Do you have any problem in your side, institute managers?
you can hear me ne uh, suresh ji if, if you want to uh, uh, talk please uh, raise hand in the system so that we can uh, enable to uh, enable the mic because we had to clear first institute level institute what institute have if, if any institute have problem we have to solve that institute manager uh, you are the person to um, uh, coordinate and monitor uh, and everything you are the responsible person to manage this system so uh, universities please do not select any faculty or department if you select any faculty you will go to definitely you will get only uh, but not other other modules users module will be affected you will be a institute manager of uh, that faculty institute manager of that faculty but not for this instrument data uh, uh, not for this uh, institute so that is very important so we will discuss this table uh, there are two tables as i mentioned earlier Uh, there are eight different user roles uh, for the institutional centers there will be seven except faculty manager first we'll see the universities user role um, you can see uh, role id 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight user roles first one is super admin admin we don't need to worry about that because super admin admin uh, from uh, national science foundation the third one is institute manager fourth one is faculty manager uh, faculty manager fifth one is department or division manager administrative in charge technical in charge equipment user equipment user is a low level user they can first time when they log in it they can see not only that institute all the institute instrument and product the listing product or and in, instruments so first we will see what are the now every modules there are different modules you can see now institute laboratory users we can assume as a single module everything now view users users view users me, excuse me sorry uh, one person has raised hand okay uh, good afternoon ma'am uh, i am prashant from subramanish of sri lanka mm -hmm. uh, so in order to claim the position as the institution manager so how do i need to make the request i think sureshini you can answer for this question Sorry, sorry. Uh, on behalf of the Sabrom University of Sri Lanka, Professor Malavi Patna Sir is the one who has been nominated by the Vice Chancellor. Yes. So he has requested me to attend this meeting. To uh, requested me to attend this meeting. So yes. I want uh, the uh, if I want to make me as an institution manager position to get that authority, how do I make the request? Do I need to make uh, the request? Institute manager was nominated by the Vice Chancellor. So. You have to come um, through that way. You can request the Dr. Malay Patel, na? Okay. To assign you as the institute manager instead of him. Ah, that's why I'm asking. Ah, uh, did uh, Malay Patel, sir, or or as already access as the uh, institutional manager? That's why I'm asking. Ah, uh, we will yes, check sir. it. Okay. Sabra Gamoni, the then let me. Yeah, Sabra Gamoni. Ah, Sabra Gamoni. So, Bragama, there are three oh. users. Uh, one institute manager is Prof. Prof. Sarat Malavi. Ah, yeah, Malavi. Yeah. Okay. Thank uh, you. Thank and you. yeah. Thank you. Then uh, I think it's uh, it will be easy for new use uh, new new institutes or new new universities to start the work now. After now, everything will be clear because now. Um, Uh, we have to satisfy with all the requirements and everything. Sometimes you might notice in your dashboard some other institute in with detail may be come may come. So uh, very sorry for that. Uh, so uh, we have to clearly we have to finalize everything. That's what we uh, if we have to we had to test in the real environment because of that. Um, now everything is uh, clear now. Uh, now any in. Uh, Uh, until one user inter interfere, it means uh, he he if he select wrong institute or wrong faculty, and he might have come under your dashboard. That that may be only happen, but in our side nothing will happen. So you can continue your work uh, without any difficulties and any, any issues. So the first we have to uh, get a clear idea. So without getting clear idea about especially the user roles. 
So it will be difficult for us to maintain this. So it, it's better to maintain the hierarchy first with, uh, without creating faculty, don't try to create a department and uh, institute also without uh, give, uh, creating the departments don't try to uh, create a laboratory so it's better to uh, uh, maintain a hierarchy that is very important in this system because everything will work with the functions like that when you automatic when you select one faculty it will come automatically the particular faculty departments so it is like that so is there any other questions to before we go through this chart Okay, now. Uh, uh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm Duvinda Vijayavad from the Open University of Sri Lanka. Uh, I have been assigned as the institute manager from the uh, from the vice chancellor. I just registered myself, mm -hmm. and uh, I am seen as equipment user. Is that okay? Yes. Uh, no, we had to give the user for you. The, this is the way. Now, now you are under other institute. So uh, now I'm going to give for you as uh, we can give me the Sureshini uh, as institute manager. Okay. And this is your detail. Now yeah. update it. Now you log out, log out and log in. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, now after. Now the authority has given task. Uh, uh, now authority has given. Now after that, now we have to do like this. Now other other thing is now uh, you all the all the institute managers you just registered as a user, but you didn't after after giving as an institute manager role you didn't create you didn't enter your institute information. All the almost all the institute I entered. So um, um, here for uh, like this now for this open university um, open university. I create the institute. So the you the institute manager when you register, you have to do. You have to create your institute. So anyway, uh, there are some already. Um, I entered all the institutes. So you have to update it. Don't don't try to enter new as new. Already, if it is your uh, institute is already is there. Entered by me. All the institute entered by me. If you have to update it, update. Oh, um, I uh, of course uh, the. Open University was not there in the list. That's why I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm I'm going to enter for that. Now at the institute, I can find some information about the. Uh, uh, at institute. Your name, Open University address. I take your address. Now I'm going to Email address is I add this email address. You can change it later. Okay. I add this phone number. Ministry of Higher Education. And description and this is a default longitude and latitude that this is for NS of use only um, uh, because now first time when you register uh, you, your location will uh, notify in the google map uh, nsf location after giving a longitude and latitude by nsf only you will go to uh, your place not only the institute your instruments also laboratory also this time when you register it it will show you a uh, nsf location we because we have taken that responsible to enter your uh, laboratory location and uh, uh, and institute location uh, suggested by our committee uh, so now i add your location Let's 
here. This is the longitudinal latitude. So already I added the information for some institutes already registered in institute. Please check your institute information and add. Uh, please try to add the description because it will be uh, easy for. Um, yes, I will uh, yeah, do that. Too. Yeah. Now uh, I already uh, entered that open university now. Now you have come under registered users list. Select Institute. Sri Lanka. Now, okay. now you can see in the page. Already, they have a. Um, sorry, this is. Thirty-five. Now it's thirty-six. Now all the universities registered, except Morocco. Morocco also registered. Uh, they they received nomination, but still they didn't register it. Thirty-six. Now you can see uh, open university location in the map. It will come. Okay. So right. yeah. Now. Uh, now you have to continue the rest of the, uh, now you have to start now, now open university. Now I created institute, they are institute. Okay. Now immediately he has to know how many faculties, so at least, at least one faculty uh, by, by the institute manager, you please try to add, add at least one faculty. So yes. we have, we gave authority to institute manager and faculty manager. They both can create the faculty. So now you can see in the list, in this list. So you, you uh, faculty can create institute manager and faculty manager. So okay. now in the in the universities, in the chart, view users, we can, uh, we give all, uh, authority to all the users to view the users and view registered users. For example, when people and uh, register, new registered users only uh, only uh, we will uh, no need to think uh, worry about the super admin admin we will talk about from institute managers to equipment user of universities later we will discuss about the institutes and institute manager they can view registered user as i said earlier all they all will come with the institute id token some will some will come with the faculty id token some will be come so, um, institute ID and faculty ID and department token. So, um, so please uh, you check the users by when we click um, edit button, you can see there whether they select faculty or department or this is a general user, sometimes students or general public. So, it's uh, your institute manager, you have to check. Okay. And, uh, and other one is faculty manager. Faculty manager, uh, they also view the registered users. Uh, the faculty managers they also can take their users in their site because when they when they sell it, because not we can't give all the uh, responsible for the to institute manager faculty managers also can see the registered users list when they we, they can sell it where they can see all should be under their institute so it will be easy for them you sell you you uh, select um, uh, for that record you click edit button that person from your faculty you give the role that's only uh, you give the role for them so you you also can give the role not only institute manager faculty manager also can give the role for they are you for for their faculty pe person and the uh, department division manager also can add or edit or delete user now administrative in charge and technical in charge and equipment users they cannot add or view registered users registered users but general users they can see the users list they can see registered users list, they cannot see so be restricted 
uh, after that view logs then you can see uh, the institute managers and faculty managers you can see the users list they are uh, this is the log so log is very important so institute manager faculty manager or division manager of the institute you just um, uh, this person is nimanti virakon equipment user when i click that then we can see that uh, person um, steps what, what how many how many what, his proceed um, actions what are the actions he he did the recon output based on the logout e instrument he went to the e instrument view and uh, category listing e instrument so these are the um, so you can monitor the log is very important institute manager or division manager you can monitor the each and every users actions so that is called view logs view logs can be uh, from uh, and institute manager faculty manager department manager uh, department manager or division manager means for the institute also not only the universities uh, when we discuss um, the institute we can see that and administrative chat technical chat equipment user they cannot view the logs we restrict that other one is view institute we gave we uh, we gave uh, authority to view all the users to view the institutes except equipment user after that at the institute it should be done by institute manager not the faculty manager you can see now faculty manager no department manager no administrative in charge no you institute manager only want to enter institute information and other one is view faculties is for universities as it is university system view faculties and all users can view except equipment user and or edit or delete faculty it means who the operation of faculties who can add institute manager it's a double star mean very important very important to institute managers to enter at least one faculty at least one faculty he has to initiate otherwise as at least if normally at least maybe 10 or 8 or 10 so all the faculties also institute manager if we create it is better or easy for faculty manager to create his faculties so faculty manager uh, if uh, creating faculty manager it's important but not very important and department or administrative in judge low level users can add or edit or delete faculties so you can see now no no and view department or except equipment user all can view department and crude operation of the department a department can be added by added by institute manager faculty manager department manager but institute manager it's it's not uh, very important but faculty manager it's uh, for faculty manager uh, he can create department or department manager also can create his department after that view laboratory except equipment user all can view laboratories crude operation of laboratories here um, institute manager can create a uh, laboratory faculty manager not necessary and department manager department manager is the person to create the laboratory you might ask the question why faculty manager cannot create laboratory but institute manager can because now in this system we have as i said already some institute direct some institutes are here without faculty or department under one institute there are laboratory in that case the institute manager is the person to create laboratory for the universities it is not important that's what i, I mentioned not important uh, institute manager to create a laboratory but laboratory should be added by or entered by department or division manager so uh, so we have divided the we divided the responsibilities institute manager only cannot do all the parts as university is a big, big system institute manager he has to initiate and coordinate monitor and everything he is the person to finally i can say he is the person to check the accuracy of the data redundancy the inconsistency of the data so institute manager so he that's what he, we uh, we divided the responsibilities to other roles also department manager only want to create the laboratory that's what in the in institute manager um, uh, dashboard he cannot see the sorry faculty manager um, dashboard 
he cannot see the at laboratory button like here like at laboratory button the uh, faculty manager he cannot see uh, yesterday uh, several calls came for us now already post they are now it is not here why is that so we planned and finalized the responsibilities for each roles because of that and after that view products you i we all can view the products including the equipment user add or edit or delete products here for the faculty manager not necessary and institute manager also it is not important because while we consider the institute only under the under one institute there are several laboratories so in that situation we need to consider that because of that it came here for the institute manager at products so if for him it is not necessary so product category adding should be done by uh, department manager and uh, administrative in charge and technical in charge also can add the product category product category i didn't um, because what product category means one under all the categories for our one group or one institution one institute so there therefore i didn't restrict for that um, product category all the product categories you can see uh, in the one faculty the same product category in other faculty also same product categories because product category is not belongs to your faculty this is not all the categories are belongs to your institute so other one is view instrument all the all users can view the instrument crude operation of the instrument who who uh, uh, institute manager and faculty manager department manager do not enter instrument administrative in charge and technical in charge only want to enter data but technical in charge is very important he it is compulsory to enter records by the technical in charge here the administrative in charge with the university i know uh, the most uh, most of the university laboratory in charge is one of the academics so he can view all the institute information faculty information department information laboratory information uh, but uh, data won't be entered by technical in charge it is not there's no any issue you can assign one academics if uh, 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 your in charge is academic person no any issue you give him as a role as administrative in charge that it means it is not only not entering data he is he has to monitor and guide and um, um, and uh, give all the necessary instruction to technical in charge so uh, administrative in charge can see view all the all the modules as well as he can enter data also and after that check instrument status it is not that much of important check instrument status it is very important to administrative in charge because all the records can be entered by technical in charge administrative in charge you are the person uh, to handle this uh, uh, your laboratory so you have to take responsible to check the status of the equipment so don't put now without completing the records you you mentioned the, the record is completed but not it is not completed when we go through it there are only few informations but there is no um, more information sometime you might not have uh, some data for example funding agency you might not know and uh, commencement of operation some uh, that is okay but to uh, try to enter uh, your all, uh, all the information necessary information especially keyword is very important because people they don't know the instrument name if you enter some keywords tissue and bacteria or germs or whatever you related to that instrument you try to enter at least five keywords um, so it will be when people search it will come your institution instrument so please try to enter and product category also don't select uh, it's better to uh, at least one one product category and two or three instrument that is better all the instruments you don't please don't try to take only one product category rather than mentioning food food and it, that they are, it's better to sub categories vegetables um uh, me uh, series like that it's better to sub categorize the product categories and um, add your categories so uh, use of feedback use of feedback is uh, recently we uh, implemented you can see now well, you can um, in the contact page 
in the contact page, get in touch area, in get in touch area, now you see you go to the map of the, uh, the load map of the NSF here, you can see get in touch area name. Now it, it is working now. Any person, even if you have any issue, you, you send us a, a message with the picture. You can take the screenshot of the picture if you have any issue. Now, it, uh, now all the institution, if you have any issues, you take the uh, snap of the uh, problem and send us name, email, mobile number, subject, message, uh, and uh, image uh, not only for you this is this can be used for the outside people they can um, they can uh, fill their information here under the subject attention attention institute name if if they want to uh, send one message to university of colombo they will put attention call and university of colombo so your institute manager you can decide that in your institution you can decide uh, who want to reply for this so in administrative in charge is better he can uh, monitor the okay university of colombo one uh, uh, problem or query has come and he can sell uh, reply because the, he can find that email address here email address they will enter. So it's as it mandatory email will come. So you can reply for them. So I can show this here. You can institute managers, you can see user feedback here. And when you click um, view image, uh, then they, if they send any image, it will, log, it will show. So it, it will be easy for you to reply them. So uh, for this is as I'm super admin, I can edit or delete. So for you all only, you can view only the uh, feedbacks or comments or any queries from other outsiders. And you by the, you can find email address. You uh, your institution one role, uh, for example, as institute manager or administrator that can take responsibility to send email that person and you can reply. So you can manage that. So the final one is instrument feedbacks. So here, um, I already showed. So this uh, China uh, high, this is China Sri Lanka Joint Research and Demonstration Center. Okay, now uh, here you can see service charge. They have added 4,700 for this instrument. So it will show. So if you want to add your service charge, when you enter, you add your service charge. If you do not enter, it will show a button, uh, contact us. So they can contact you and get the information. Now you can see the feedback. This feedback is for instrument instrument feedback, each and every instrument, uh, you can see that the uh, instrument feedback, they, they can send a message. So in the, uh, it, it, this will be implemented very soon when they uh, select instrument list. When you see the instrument list, the, I can add one more column feedback or with the pop-up or mono, uh, pop, with the pop-ups. And you, when you click that view, it will show you a, uh, so it will display the feedback of uh, that particular instrument. So this will be implemented shortly. So this is uh, university. As as we have different uh, several user roles and different requirements, uh, it's really better to arrange one training session physically uh, because uh, I can I, I I can say I can understand I'm very fast now because we have to cover all the things uh, today as we have to launch uh, our this system very soon. We can arrange a very good. Um, in-house of the physical training program and we can discuss more and as it is national project this is our project your 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 suggestions are very important for us uh, we all have to work together and we have to um, develop a very good um, product for this country to boost econ our econ social economical um, values and we will see the next we will go to uh, institutes or centers. This is uh, different uh, because now we have uh, um, the several institutes that are available in Sri Lanka, research institutes. Um, 
so we have there we don't have a faculty system or oh, that's what we don't have a faculty role is for them the faculty manager same to university uh, uh super admin admin from the nsf institute manager now the same thing a uh, view registered user institute manager and department you can see administrative in charge they cannot see the View, uh, in registered users. Now you can go through it. If you have any doubt, you can please ask me the institute side. I think yesterday we had issue with one hour. Oh, something's to be discussed now. Uh, yesterday we had an issue with uh, China, the same institute. Now they have. Uh, they don't have faculty, you can see now that they don't have any faculty or department, they have only uh, laboratory. Uh, so, so for them, uh, they don't have any faculty ID or department ID directly, they have only the laboratory ID. Now we could solve the issue. They have, the, now they can see their users and uh, not only the users, all the modules they can see now. Uh, the institute, research institutes, if you have any problem in any, uh, conditions please uh, you can ask uh, at, the, at the instruments also uh, technical in charge because i know uh, some institute if, if your institute is very small um, uh, you might have a, a problem with the technical in charge to uh, assign some the roles for other users so that's what i say it's better to uh, have a, at least two to, to take two roles. First one is the uh, institute manager, other one is technical in charge. Uh, in technical in charge is the person to enter data. So that's what I, I put two double star for um, technical in charge and or edit instruments and uh, check instrument status by administrative in charge. Um, and institute manager, uh, institutes they have to create very important another important uh, that uh, view registered users for that also institute manager uh, there's no any issue with the uh, institute or centers uh, no any because he, uh, as they don't have faculty system uh, directly when they use when they register user even if they select institute id no issue institute manager can see all the um, uh, all the information of uh, that registered users, but meanwhile they can select uh, their de de department or division also. So in the users list, they have to give only the role. So that's why to make it easy and to introduce the workload of institute manager or faculty manager, I added uh, two additional fields in the register button. Uh, it, uh, register, uh, so registration uh, form faculty if it is university other one is select department or division for example here uh, china uh, research institute now they, they they don't have any faculty or department this is like the, the register then if it is uh, uh, who are well let's say university they have uh, on, uh, they enter only faculty of applied sciences and department of science and technology. If it is uh, uh, Sabragama Town CRI Coconut Research Institute, they have uh, they don't have faculties. Now you see that they don't have faculty, but they have department. You, now you can see there are several departments: agronomy, central analysis, coconut processing. So when you you are you users when they register they can select your institute and uh, department sometimes they won't select department they will select only your institute and they will register uh, if if any users if they are new to this system they won't select any institute they will type their name in the, in the other institute and nsf can see their uh, information so if they want to uh, move to a particular institution, we can assign them under one uh, institute and we can send them. So this uh, user role is a big, uh, in this uh, system, user role is the big part. And if we all understand clearly, uh, uh, we can manage or maintain the system without any uh, issues. So we had to prop, uh, we had to understand first and we had to manage and operate the system with the suitable hierarchy. Uh, then that, uh, so for, uh, 
I think there may be some new users. So I'll, I'll just briefly explain how to enter data. Now, first, uh, before enter data, you add to your institution product categories. Now here, add, uh, add product category. Uh, then product category name, subcategory, what are the subcategory, what testing parameter, testing parameter, for, for, what are the, uh, the purpose of uh, the instrument, the product, and testing parameters, and a description, and relevant instrument add. So you have to, uh, before enter your instrument, you add your product. There's no issue when you enter product, you can select other institution product also. And so we didn't restrict that. Uh, so other institution product also, another one institution product can be selected by another institute. That is no issue. And um, after that, to add instrument, this is add instrument page. Um, uh, this is a little bit long and uh, we have idea to uh, design a, a separate toolbar here uh, because rather than every time entering and going and listing and, and entering so it, uh, while you are while you are in the same window you can uh, enter more data by copying or pasting and uh, this is the entering part especially for the technical in charge, you first provide your instrument name, institute. So you can find your institute here in the front of the list. When you select your institute, um, Southeastern University, so faculty, on different one faculty they added, engineering faculty, which department, civil engineering, which laboratory, under civil engineering, there are, uh, okay, geotechnological laboratory, and uh, product category name, you can select your product or other product also no issue and instrument condition functioning well and manufacturer, model, manufacturer, HS code, description, web link, choose file, uh, the catalog upload, you can upload the catalog, you can find from uh, internet and catalog access, instrument price. If you have, if you want to, uh, if you wish to enter your instrument price, you can enter vendor name, vendor contact, vendor URL. This is number of sample per cycles for some sensitive instruments. It's better to uh, enter this, some number of uh, cycle um, per day and use total usage. And this is very important. The instrument sales can be provided to external research institution, yes or no, funding source uh, and commencement of operation, record status, you can put complete. If it is not complete, no issue. You put an incomplete, but your administrative judge he will check, and he will check the record status. If it is not com completed, he can give the stage as completed and contact person, email and keyword. Keyword here you can enter a number of keywords by using the comma separated uh, comma separation and choose file name. Uh, I explained in the, uh, the first session also, when before sometime you might download internet from images from internet. So definitely that uh, image size may be big. So the system won't allow to upload such kind of pictures. The easiest way, if you don't have the picture, you open that picture with the image with the paint and save it as, as another file name. And you definitely it will, uh, this file size will be reduced uh, below one megabyte. So after that you can upload a picture uh, and at the same time I want to say now the GIF, GIPG, PNG, JPG image format you can upload um, and the other thing is it's better now there are several institutes uh, institute registered so if there are such a possibility to enter or upload the pictures in same image for example one dot jpg two dot so don't uh, try to upload the picture before you upload you name the uh, your images in the uh, uh, one standard format like uh, uh, if you are um, columbia university and cmb and uh, your faculty apply uh, science nang sc and uh, so it um, rather than entering on the rather than naming the picture with the faculty institute it's better to mention with the uh, faculty science faculty and computer department c o m you you can decide it how administrative in charge you can decide how to name the your pictures 
um, unique unique value. You have to give the unique value. Don't uh, because if you decide according to your institution, it won't interfere other institutions' image also. So now I notice in the you uploaded your different different name. So um, now after this, please um, follow a uh, unique format like uh, now CMB Kalampana CMB Science Computer uh, Department Laboratory AI Laboratory for example AI Lab laboratory like otherwise if it, if it is long you can remove one faculty like uh, ai and underscore don't put any spaces or any other special characters like it or other side just put the underscore today day for example 2022 uh, underscore uh, july 8 sorry uh, underscore 8 if it is first first picture underscore one if it is second picture underscore two but now it is also long you please decide you uh, jpg your institution can decide how to uh, name the images unique without uh, to avoid uh, interfering other institute images so if you upload same image sometimes your image will go to other institution so other institution image will come you have, there's a chance so sometimes it won't allow it won't allow if it is same name it won't allow to upload it so service charge so this is um, this also important if you have a service charge please add otherwise if you put this is a blank it will uh, show you uh, uh, so the users it is uh, this is it has no contact us service charge contact us now uh, this is uh, southeast university so they didn't enter the service charge here now this is the way now they have uploaded four pictures it's really nice now one main picture and the other one is uh, uh, some other angle they can take so this is very uh, these uh, really um, we uh, um, suggest you to upload this kind of pictures. This is really important for students, especially research students and uh, others to get the more information and uh, pictures are very important and um, the four pictures and uh, uh, from faculty of engineering departments, laboratory and the service charge. And this is the basic information, contact detail, contact detail. Uh, institute faculty laboratory this person okay now we have to assume uh, it's better to enter your email address with your organizational domain and product category specification feedback will be uh, updated shortly these are the related instruments is there any other things to be discussed? Uh, if you have any doubts, Ms. Tasneem, mm -hmm. shall we inform them about get in touch area? Get in touch, I already uh, told them. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, anyway, um, now, um, now after this uh, training session, uh, the, you might have, you, you might face a lot of issues sometime, definitely. So please send us uh, um, by filling this, no need to send the email directly. So you can use this uh, area to send your uh, problems, so your name, email, mobile number, subject, attention, uh, you put uh, NSF, within bracket NSF message and uh, choose file mean you can uh, take a snap, uh, snap of the uh, phone also you can take the problem and upload it so you can send it so we can view your problems and you can we can directly contact you otherwise we can send an email and we can solve your issue so that is uh, what we want to tell now this is institute product, institute product category any any doubts 
I think now already registered institute, please uh, now, according to the instruction, you um, institute managers, you remove your faculty or uh, department information, and uh, you keep with only the institute ID and um, division managers from institutes, uh, no issue. And institute managers, they can uh, handle the users and giving the user roles and everything. So this is the way to, to keep, please keep the table. So sometime in your dashboard, you might not see the, or you cannot see the ed laboratory or sometime uh, ed instrument. So it means you, you don't have authority to, to do that task. It means, so uh, now we have planned like this. Uh, your suggestion also very important. Uh, if you all have any suggestion, we can, uh, you, we all can discuss and change. And um, we all have to work together. And uh, I think, I hope now it's clear. If you have, if you have, if you have any doubts or questions, Yes, yes, if you have any question, uh, can you uh, raise hand so that we can uh, take the question and answer quickly? I think this is the real system what you, you were looking for for a decade. And with the support of the university's staff, Dr. Nanda, Dr. Gihan, uh, Dr. Hiran and uh, Nadija, uh, Nadishan, and uh, some of guidance we get from our Professor Anjisena Ratna and Dr. Chandra Anul Denia, uh, so that with all this input, we develop this system uh, for the institution to maintain their instrument database and provide better services to the scientific community and then extend that services to the uh, private uh, institution and uh, generate some income for the institution. Uh, most of uh, laboratories and institutions said that their high-end equipment are idling at laboratory, laboratories after uh, getting the uh, original, original uh, work and after that most of instruments are lying at the uh, laboratory so that this is a, a, a good opportunity for your laboratory to promote your laboratory promote your institution and get earn some money uh, from the private sector we hope that um, today's session is very much yeah Ex excuse me mr manager uh, we want to tell you about the backup now we take frequent backup every day we uh, we take system backup uh, system backup we take frequently and every day we take um, uh, database backup now uh, now in this system it is like that now 100 institutes now 100 separate modules so in now we will implement that uh, i will put that every um, uh, you are you are in institution backup you can take it means not sql mode you can take is excel uh, so it is very uh, it will be very useful for you to use your data so you can take your backup so after after launching this i will institute backup laboratory backup and instrument backup so you can export as a excel excel and you can keep so that is very important you also can take your backup um, weekly or if you wish you will frequently you can take your backup so the sql backup we have uh, we have uh, so the report generation so we now this is just initiating uh, we can uh, design a very good dashboard to show your graphs and uh, growth and everything we can uh, we can imp improve and uh, i think your cooperation is very important for us uh, so the final thing we have to uh, tell about the backup things Yes, that's right. Because uh, as you feel, th this is your instrument database, not ours. Uh, once all the databases are connected into the centralized system, it is a national thing. So you better to have your own instrument maintained in this system and you can take backups uh, and you can promote your services to your clients. So thank you very much, as Tasni mentioned. So the, the, we will introduce the report module in future uh, after analyzing the uh, requirements of the reporting for the administrators and the institution heads uh, that will be implemented uh, in short. 
so I think uh, today uh, we have uh, done a very good session and very useful for your institution to uh, uh, get the work done and update the database on time. So uh, time to time, we wish to conduct similar program when you when we get a lot of inquiries on certain area to aware you and uh, do the modification wherever possible uh, on your request. Uh, so thank you very much. We uh, again, thank you uh, to the organizers as Tasneem and our IT manager, Mr. Madhava and our uh, chief organizer uh, for this event, uh, engineer Sureshini uh, and um, all the guidance given us by Dr. Uh, Nanda Gunawardhan and Dr. Hiran from Columbia University and Mr. Dr. Nanda from Ms. Uh, Nadisha from University of uh, Peradeniya. Yes, Ms. Nadisha from Peradeniya. Uh, and uh, all the support uh, given uh, by our DG, Dr. Sepadika Sudhasinga. So we wish uh, to launch this system on uh, 14th of this month uh, with the patronage of our. Honorable Minister. So please continue your uh, work so that uh, we hope uh, this will be a great system for the Sri Lankan uh, in future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Successful day, the model is 60. That's what I strongly think. If you do like that, the engineer manager will select the customer department. They will be under that. They are successful now. The box of pictures are available. Yes. And they also are satisfied. No queries. And that's good. 